hello everyone. Lovely to see you, and you're here now. I moved my desk, and it's been a while, so I might be looking for in the game, the chat, you. But eventually I will find you. Let me check the sound. You hear me? Now you hear the desktop. So, sorry about that. You didn't hear any of the greetings. It was, it was just something for me. Lovely to see you again, guys. Um, it's been a while. A month, actually. And it's a long time without modding or playing Morrowind. Just enough to... How do I write the drop bot? I have DM deactivated. Oh. Um... I don't know, because the, the message is sent automatically. I'll have to look into it later, Mark, to see if I can send it again to you, maybe via Discord or something. I don't even know what it sent you. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating it is. So you get to hear a little a bit god. of the dagger frame. How can you kill what a is god? The Shame on you. No, 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 you got a... You got a message from Danaibot. So, it's, I mean, technically it is a Twitch channel, but um, if not, I'll send you another game key later on. All right, the plan for today, shockingly, Morrowind. It's not shocking, I know. And uh, we will be, yeah, we will be starting the Indiana Jones challenge that I've been thinking about for months and months and months, but we had to finish the Geob challenge. And also I was modding a lot. So now I've finally put it in writing. Um, I mean, there's the link, I can, I can add it there. It's on my blog, so if you know the address, that's where it is. Um, I have made versions for vanilla and with mods. Let's be honest, it's a lot more fun with mods um, because we have all kinds of cool things. It should work next time. Okay, good. Good, good. I know you do for a month of no requests. That <laughs> you really think now that I would be able to not make any requests just like that while I got my head in modding? No, the only reason why I could do that is because I didn't even have access to my own computer. Um, I barely had Wi-Fi. I had a phone, a tablet, mind you. Um, I, I was completely off Morrowind and quite a bit off Discord and modding. So it was a bit tricky when people asked me questions and I was like, oh. from what I remember in the construction site, it's that name, that ID. Um, on holiday, yes and no. Uh, I was in France for a whole month. That was not a month of holiday. I got two weeks without working and I used that time to see pretty much everyone in my family so that was really busy but really really good after you know basically between uh, Covid and me moving from the UK to Switzerland I hadn't spent any time at all with my family so I did that the first couple of weeks and then I spent another two weeks in France uh, but working online but no modding and no streaming either I can see the the green screen is not ideal and there's a little bit of... what is that? What is that? Oh well, there are things. It's okay. You don't mind, right? So anyway, that was a, a month detox. Who needs family? If you miss them, just put them in the caldera somewhere. Yeah, it's not the same. The bot, the, yeah, the bot, well, didn't have a chance to break. That's, that's the, the secret. Um, so we'll be doing the Indiana Jones challenge very briefly. Um, we need to find the body of Indiana Jones, so O'Malley Ancestral Tomb, that's where I need to go. I need to remember that. We'll be uh, bringing as many artifacts as possible to the Museum of Artifacts in Mournhold. There are a few mods uh, that make it more fun to do that. Oh yes, I have. Oh crap, I did put these two. <laughs> I did not make it easy for myself. It's going to be harder to find those artifacts. Uh, I've added a bunch of mods that add treasure, unique items to collect, uh, all kinds of things, uh, including the crystal egg hunt. I'm looking forward to that. Never really 
you know, I've had it on quite a few installs, but I never really took the time to find any of those. So if I have found three in my whole life, that's about it. Uh, we want to learn about the Dwemer, which is best done by doing Vanilla Quest. I also have the Imperial Dwemer Society, as well as two quest mod connected with the Dwemer and their research. Get the girl. Yes, Lara Craft. I'm not sure you're familiar with that. Very old companion mod, but she's there. She's in the game. She doesn't say, hey, wait for me, I think. So <laughs> we're, we're hoping. Um, a bunch of things to make exploring more fun. Um, this mod, is it big enough for you guys to see? If you're on mobile, maybe not. Uh, this mod, I've actually... Hey, Gripples, welcome back. I've actually modified it so that when you uh, open an urn in a tomb, it's not a ghost or a skeleton that appears, it's snakes. So hopefully I haven't marked that up because that implied editing some of the some of the Lua code. It was simple enough. I think I got it right. If not, oh well, I'll have to make requests and pleas for help. Um, yeah, obviously we want to destroy the heart because that makes sense. Why did it have to be snakes? Absolutely. And I will see. Uh, I should have changed the message box as well. And it should say that. Unless I mucked it up. Possible. Uh, for the handicaps, I didn't put too many handicaps really. Uh, it's mostly the fact that we cannot cast spells and we don't have the world map. Which is not so bad in Vardenfell, but in Tamriel we built. Hmm. It's going to be a different matter. So that's what we are going to do. And I actually, there she is. I actually did create the character because I knew very well what I wanted to do. And I didn't feel like going on stream and saying, hmm, what shall we do? I know exactly what I wanted. So, so there it is. There's my uh, lovely Imperial character. She is an archaeologist. That class comes from uh, Tamriel Rebuilt. And then I, I mean, I think it's Tamriel Rebuilt, and then I have a mod that makes all of the classes from Tamriel Rebuilt playable. You have to forgive me, I started working on that install more than a month ago, so... <laughs> I might not remember exactly all of the mods that I put there. But anyway, it's a, it's, a, it's a modded class, but not a custom one that I've made, so we'll have to go with it. Um, I picked uh, Julianos as a belief because it gave me plus 10 enchant and alchemy. Um, and then I picked the artificer background, which means I got a lovely and lovely plus 50 to my enchant. I think it was plus 50, maybe even 60. However, I cannot, simply cannot cast spells, even when it says that I cannot fail it. Um, how do I cast spells? There. <laughs> it's been too long. Even if it says that I cannot fail it, I fail. I, I simply cannot cast spells. So that's going to be an interesting challenge to sort of uh, counteract that. Uh, when I chose my birth sign, I picked the crossroad that gives me the power once for Mars, Mars, Mark and Recon. So powers are okay. They're, they're innate ability. It's not really magic. Racial traits, I guess. So powers are fine, these don't work. Uh, and then using Krell, when I was asked if I wanted to pick my spells, I did. And I picked De Detect Enchantment because as a treasure hunter, I thought it made sense. Obviously, I cannot cast it, but I'm hoping to enchant something with it. And Soul Trap. And I think that's that's pretty much it. Where you know you know as much as I do. Okay. Ben of Kavach, hello. Was that, was that the hero of Kavach who was named Ben? And we're in Sidonine because, you know, I didn't want to start in the middle of nowhere. Mark and recall traveling by moving red arrow on a map. Yeah, pretty much. However, because there are powers, like it doesn't actually show, but I'm pretty sure actually interesting. I thought that it also damaged my fatigue when I used them. 
It doesn't show there, so maybe not. Maybe I just misremember. Your soul belongs in a museum. <laughs> that could be that could be one of our catchphrases. Who knows? It could be. Um, I actually start the game with quite a bit of a, of equipment. Um, the pants, because I have wares for NPCs, uh, even the shirt and the pants and the shoes that you have when you start the game are randomized every time. And you know what? That's pretty good. And then I have a Merlord's class class starting equipment mod uh, that uh, that I updated. No, well, yeah, I, I did make an update for it to include more classes, more modded ones. So, so I got, for example, this is pretty good. I'm guessing my alchemy is decent. It's very nice, actually. Very nice alchemy. Okay. Indiana Jones is not famous for his knowledge of botany, but you know what? <laughs> okay, we we will we will have uh, potions and knowledge of plants because we won't be able to cast any healing spells. So I think being able to make potions is pretty good. One of the birth sign mods had a levitate power that caused a lot of fatigue damage when used. Which one was that? I know in the uh, birth sign. Redux, I think it's called. The one that I use um, that has all kinds of birth sign, including uh, the crossroad that I picked. Uh, a number of them are scripted or you would get some items. And there is one, I think the angel that gives you the ability to levitate. But I don't remember at what cost. Anyway, you shouldn't be able to levitate unless you're playing a bird race i guess right did, did i read that yes i did reflex I, I i did that promise you i did nothing else promise the first thing we need to do is find a scout that can take us to the omalen tomb <sighs> because that's where we want to find the body of indiana jones i did give myself a hat that looks like a shirt but it's a hat there it is and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, the hat itself is originally from uh, Mighty Young Joe, so really, really old model. And it did come with a little bit of a air. Oh, the birth signs are more fun. I haven't used this one in a long time, oddly, because it's been staple mod for so, so long that with every new install, I go, oh, no, no, that one, I've had it a lot. Uh, so the hat, the, the Fedora hat, uh, is a model from Mighty Young Joe, but I didn't like the hair. It, exactly, the, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. As you can see, I have minor clipping with the hair, because basically the hat, you can't really tell, because <laughs> there's my hair. And then the hat model, I modified it to replace the ugly hair model that it had with the hair I wanted to use. And hi, indeed, welcome back. Uh, but the hair model, you know, they were not meant to go together. So I had to make the hat bigger to reduce, not completely cancel. You can see um, on the left hand side of the hat, you can see there's a little bit of a clipping there. And even there. But it's mostly not too visible, especially if I walk quickly, no one will see. So I've made the hat. Uh, we need to find the body of Indiana Jones, which is uh, in vanilla game. And there I should find a whip and a pistol. But until then, we're going to have to make do with what we have. What am I good at? What do I fight with? Marksman is not great. Short blade 20, but I don't have one yet. So I think we're gonna need to get some gear, um, get some level, be a bit stronger. I did! Hey Mardukrats, welcome back. I did! Decided to cut off my... I call it my COVID hair. <laughs> because, because I didn't go to the hairdresser for three years, give or take. So yeah, had it cut, finally. I'm doing good, thank you. How are you doing? And I know it's been a whole month without without even having access to my computer. I was 
fairly pleased to, to see my computer again. And Aurel as well. Maybe more. Who knows? Doing alright, that's good news. Okay, let's get all the topics while we can. There we go. Uh, as far as gameplay, uh, obviously I do have a bunch of gameplay mods. You know most of them. If you see something that you don't recognize, just, just ask me. I should be able to remember what the mod is. Should be, probably, maybe. Um, we will see. But here, for sure, I have a speechcraft. Uh, no, we do not want you. I think I, I will never, ever want to take you as a companion again. Ever. So we have speechcraft. My speechcraft is pretty high, so I already can see the disposition. Um, it's the, the one where, depending on the level of your speechcraft, you can see the disposition of NPCs, and then you can see their flee and fight um, levels or ratings, whatever it is. And also for every new topic like that, I, I increase by 0 0.1 my speechcraft skill. It has to be a completely new topic. So I cannot just go and spam those great topics to just increase my my speechcraft. Not a thing anymore. Persuasion, uh, you could spam it, but if you're not good, it's just not going to work. Uh, taunt is limited to a couple of times a day as well. So speechcraft between, uh, what's the name of these two mods? Talking Matters and... Silver Tongue, I believe that's the name of the two mods. Between these two mods, I'm super happy with Speechcraft the way it is. You can't you can't cheese it, and Speechcraft actually matters. What is a bounty on all Atronac? Yeah, about that. And I'm thinking you'll tell me guys, would you like me to for next time? Because right now, you know, it's a bit too late. But would you like me to increase the font, basically the, the size of the UI, so you can read things better? And Varyel, welcome back. Lovely to see you. Yeah, tell me about the font. So I've put that on my... You think it's fine? Anyone on mobile? Because I'm guessing... Oh, on mobile, you know you're just not going to read things on screen. Now, I've noticed something... My, my, my bound box, I think, is kind of weird. I don't know, sometimes... You, you see sometimes NPCs when they try to jump, but because of the landscape and the bound box, they sort of slide. I think I'm doing that with my character. Which is odd. And uh, while I'm at it... Let's modify the third person camera. I will try, and I'm saying try, to actually, how is it? To actually use the third person camera if I can put it to a level where maybe, maybe, maybe I can play like that. We'll see how it is. Um, possible issue on mobile. Slightly larger font. Okay, back I'll, um I'll take a note of it. There we go. I normally have it a bit bigger than that, but new installs are... Um, I see where it is. I know that on my uh, Test 3 MP install, I have the font massive now, so that people can read, because it's purely text role-playing, and so if you can't read, it's just not good at all. Ooh, shall we take the booze? Oh yes. We can summon a panther. Now, this is completely OP in terms of value. I will never sell it, I promise. I, I would have changed the value to zero or something, but I got lazy. Mobile, open up the menu. That's... I mean, let me get a... The dialogue in particular, I think, is important. Like that. 
I'm guessing it's quite small. I will make it a little bit bigger um, for sure. I was going to say, as long as I'm not on my computer, the phone should be fine. On mobile, nothing will help, most likely, yeah. Seems fine, Mel, the only thing, if, I, if you had a theme with bad contrast. Well, I never changed, uh, I like the, the palette of the UI. It's not vanilla, um, but it's close enough. I think it's cleaner without, without losing. Uh, I'm going to take that dagger. Not because I want to sharpen it for Grand CL, oh, we'll never know, um, Riska, uh, but because I use short blades and right now it's the only thing I have. I can even easily read the smaller number on the item pretty well too. Okay, good. Well, I'll make it a tad bigger, but not overly. We'll go, we'll go with that. So something that I will want to tweak, uh, this is the, the default setting for weather adjuster. Maybe it's because I'm not used to it. I, I tend to go for something really subtle and, and I find that it's very, very colorful. Maybe it's fine to change every once in a while. It's one o'clock in the afternoon in the game. We'll see. If, if we see too many skies that are too colorful, um, I will tweak it. Take all of that. You know what, Paxon? Follow me. Follow me because, yeah, it's decent, I guess. Trying another um, texture for enchanted items. I still think I prefer the, the yellow golden one I have usually because it, it goes quite nicely with the, the palette once again. But the whole point of having so many different installs is that I can try different things. So so that's what I'm gonna do. Your papers, please. My papers, here you go, sell us. I'm sorry, I'm not reading those. We've, I, I believe we've all read those quite a few times already. Um, I apologize if you're discovering the game. In fact, if you've never played the game, as much as I love having people there, you shouldn't watch me play. It's just gonna spoil things. And I'm gonna go over... Oh, you don't want to talk to me anymore? Come on, you, you had a few things to tell me about my duties, no less. Yes, little secret, do tell. Did our girls say the tribunal defeated Mary Dagan himself in battle at the height of their powers? So why didn't Vivek use his grand powers while fighting the Empire? If he can cause floods and hurl moons, as the stories say, why did he just common why did he use just common troops and war strategies, hey? Eh? Because they're just stories, that's why common sense when you think about it but the dog elves are a proud lot uh you know how much their legend and superstitions mean to them um fair point i am an imperial myself so i guess i would also check that down to superstition i suppose but i'm an archaeologist so i i guess i tend to look at superstitions or you know stories We'll take that as well as well as just that stories, culture, uh, rather than actual truth. So yes, I'll grab your sight uh, here. Yeah. What a superstitious lot. Hello. Oh, oh, I miss my trees. I miss my water. I try to be reasonable with the graphics this time, but it's so hard. I think I'm gonna want to go back to my water. I, I, mm, I'll see. We'll be strong. I have a uh, double NPCs there. Is it because I have two? Yeah, two of Abbots. I need to remove one. Whoops. Sorry for the noise. But uh, yeah, again, I, I try to. Uh, I've been using the same water shader for years because I absolutely love it, and I was like. Come on, come on. But yeah, 
So water shader. I might not use the same one as I always use, the one that's been on the Discord for ever. I might try another one, but I will want to try Not another one. Death can save you Kink, me. welcome back. And I see Leonard. Welcome on in. Lovely to see you. Long time no see. A whole month. That's that's how much time. Uh, so water shader and weather adjuster. I think I'm gonna want to tweak that sky. It's a bit too too much, especially when for the trees I'm staying with a. The one on Discord, the one on Nexus that is fantastic. Is it one of the latest one that uh, Ranstan uploaded? Because I've been using the one pinned in the, in Discord in the shader sections for a long, long time. Yeah, then uh, that's the one I will want to use. We now have water. We shall not dry and be dehydrated. Look at Fargoth. How stylish. Check that out. Okay, minor clipping with the pants, but ignore that. I think that's that's a pretty good look. And because you look good, Fargoth, he can have your ring. Now nah, I'm kidding. That's not why he can have the ring. It's because I am an archaeologist and an artificer and i can tell when an item has value or power and fargoth ring is not that item that is fargoth it's just pretty pretty good looking hello oh that's not pretty oh i'm definitely gonna have to look at my my uh shaders because i think that's what is giving those lines on people's faces and I don't like that. At the same time, I don't have to get this close to Fargoth. I hear ya. Uh, it's not leg wraps. He's got trousers and then shoes with uh, with open toes. Very stylish. Perfect when you live in the swamps. That's that's exactly what you want. No, 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 no. I, I just realized it's on my screen and I don't like that. I'm pretty sure it's a shader. I've tried. Uh, again, I different shaders because I always use the same. One that I have in particular is with the the depth of field but it's more like so now it's blurry there and it's blurry like that but when I look at it straight I still find that it's too sharp towards the you know towards the end so I'd rather, I think I'll switch back to the one, maybe I'll get used to it. I'll be patient. But I think I prefer the one where it's blurry, the fog blurs things out in the distance always, rather than depending on what I'm looking at and whether there's something right in front of me and what's in the background is, um, is blurred. We'll see. Now this fellow over here, oh, come back to me Arnold. Uh, we we have we have um we have some history on and Jastel and I uh, a bet uh yeah I will set up a bet remind me if I don't but right now you know we we'll, we'll see if we can kill the bandits in the bandit cave we'll start with that Danai Indie Jones oh yes that's the name of my character I forgot to tell is that you it's me Arnon you know Evie's Jastel's brother. We met about 10 years ago. Good to see you. So what are you... What are you... What are you two? Huh. Huh. It's the first time I realized we're missing an up. Oh, oh, there it is. Huh. Okay, the up is there. It just cut it out somehow. And so I explained that I'm off the boat. That I have to go and see at Caius Cosades. But really, my main goal is to learn everything I can from the ruins and the artifacts. Now he, off he offers to go with me but it's a bit annoying so later on and I need to get my bearings and I'll meet you in the six fishes. That's what I'll do. That's what we're doing. That's also that's pretty good. I have to top I have to stop looking at the way people are dressed. <laughs> That's one of my great 
great great joy see something there with um sorry Baxel I kicked you I didn't mean to you're okay it's a good boy you're good good Baxel just don't see I don't know like normally in game it's pretty smooth right when you walk up there and I, I really doubt that uh, beautiful cities of, uh, of uh, Morrowind has changed that uh, stairs, or those stairs exactly. Uh, we are running beautiful cities of Morrowind on that install. Um, I've got, so the cities have a, a, quite an overhaul. I haven't done anything with the dungeons because we have the crystal eggs and I wanted to find as many as possible. And again, I haven't played without modding the that's dungeons unusual. for a long time. That's, that's a very shiny pauldron you've got. Yeah, the depth of field, I don't know, guys. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> no, I don't do that anymore. That's why we have wear, so people wear things and I have a chance to find it in the shops as well. But it's happened. Let's be honest, it, it, has, it has happened. I love this. Absolutely love this. Uh, Luce, Lucivar is the one that... Um, told me about it to be honest i hadn't i hadn't seen it even though it's a mod from arrow and i i was pretty sure i looked at everything um that was published and i didn't see this one and i love it hello Arvil. he likes me not as much as i would like i was nice to fargoth and everything see anything you like outlander um well I just want to get rid of that and that and that. It's not like I have a huge amount of things. I don't want, unfortunately, the scarves and the hoods is not something that I will be able to wear because we have to keep our hat, which, you know, is a kind of handicap because it's not like the armor is about niche level. Yeah, chitin. The armor of the hat is chitin level. So it's quite nice at level one, but obviously when I get to higher level, it's going to be terrible uh, protection, but never mind. That's just the way it is. All right, what do you have? Like a, a dagger? Oh, I don't have the skill to use that. Do I have the skill to use that? I do. Though I would prefer uh, an offhand weapon, like an axe. I prefer that to the shield, if only for the look, okay? It's 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 all about the looks. Blood grass. This is good. Sold for 15. Thank you, Abbott's book. Alright, I'm not even going to barter. I'm I'm glad. A fair price. It was a fair price, it's true, I will. Okay, I think my, my trousers are a little too white. It doesn't scream, you know, I go into caves and ruins with cobwebs and dust that hasn't moved in hundreds of years. But let's <laughs> say it's, it's a start. <coughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Whose barrel are you? Diving gear. And who adds the diving gear? Oh, duh, the underwater mod. Now, the underwater mod, we talked a lot, um, especially during the, the spring mod jam, about underwater mod. And there's actually a mod that does something underwater, as the name indicates, but it was an early uh, beta version, so I'm not sure. Did Indy have white ones? I don't know. And, you know, I mean... That's why I say it's Indiana Jones inspired way. because there's such a difference between 
you know, the, the world of Indiana Jones, which is pretty much ours, um, but a, a few decades ago, and Morrowind, there's no way to get the exact same thing. And those trousers are just the, the common pants that I was given. You know, you start with a pair of common pants, and I started with those. But I agree, they're, they're not very practical. Good one. Oh, and yes. you... Oh, oh, that looks painful, though. What's your story? <laughs> I probably will have to sort of tweak the spyglass and hold it. That does look painful. Oh god. 20 minutes of play and already I have my to-do list of things to fix. What was that? Alright, I don't want anything from those people actually. I don't want to help this car either. If I'm being honest. Okay, well I think we, we can go for yes, our okay. first challenge and first bet. And that is... Will we be able to survive the first game? This is not a permadeath, by the way. Uh, looking good, too. This is not a permadeath. I am so surprised. I know I keep talking about it, but I'm really quite surprised considering the number of shirts and pants and skirts and trousers and robes and, and all the items are now in the game that are in level list and how everything is random and some npcs look like what was the expression denina looked was it something like they, they're dressed in the dark and some of them really do look like that but other than that uh oh some of those stones have been chipped away you say other than that i find that quite often npcs including fargoth have rather good taste so that makes me happy Especially if they have a, a mix of um, Wesley's uh, fine f -cot. What is f -cot? Fine Clothiers of Tamriel. It's a mix of vanilla, Wesley's mod, and maybe a little bit of TR. Then it's really nice. Am I monochrome? No. It's because the light is a bit... I moved it because it was in my face. Uh, it's true, the lighting is not great. Oh, well. Just look at the game. The game is fine, I think. Okay, here we go. Um, there's nothing... I could possibly use that. Let's save. <laughs> Bit the coast. Alright. I suppose I should do something with a camera and try to increase the contrast, maybe? But that will do. Um, bet... Quick bet and let's move the pen away. And the question is, can we clear the cave? All right, you will have a minute to bet. Here's the question: Can we clear the cave? Um, you want to go exclamation mark bet yes if you think we can, followed by the amount of money you want to bet, or exclamation mark bet no, followed by the amount you want to bet. Is all the thing now? Probably it's written there. So yes, you, you can also bet all if you feel so inclined. While you're thinking about whether you think I can survive or not, I should think about my strategy. I do have a little dagger. Wow. Pressure now. You're really, really putting pressure on me. And I hope I have money. So, oh. Huh. I'm a little worried because I see the overlay of there is not updating with the bets. Is it broke? You finally arrived. Maybe, maybe you broke it. Stats Gamer. Oh God. How Thank can you, you kill so a much. God? What a grand and oh, intoxicating innocence. And I'm, I'm getting I'm the greetings again. Like How can you kill a God? Shame on you. No cascade. I mean, it's it's fine to hear Nell's greeting again, but it might have just restarted. Yeah. Hey, Danina, welcome back. Okay, slots is working, and it made me win, so there's no problem with it. It's just fine. 
But yeah, the bet is not showing. Yeah, it's, you need to reset the overlay and let me have a look at the, what the error was. Reset the overlay. I can do that. Um, what are you called? I'm going to disappear for a second, guys, but I'm still here with you. Mostly. Okay, I have refreshed it. And I can even reset the stream. Get ready to have your greetings again. Oh, lucky you. Look, I tried to give you a bet, guys. Not happening this time. Well, just go in. I'll see if I can kill her with just my dagger. Not even death can save you from me. Maybe absorb her fatigue if I get tired. That's for I shouldn't eat it. I have a bit of food before. We don't want to go in there hungry or not too much. Fake gold indeed. I think I should be decent at sneaking. Sneak. Oh, and block. Oh, because I have defensive stance. But okay. You've lost this round. Oh, whew. critical damage, yes. That's good because I could see my, my hit points were going down quite rapidly. Ooh, look at those trousers. Hopefully they look good. You want to try the bed again? If I want to try the bed again, but now I've already displayed... I'm a god. How can you Once kill a again. god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you. No cascade. I've already displayed how skilled I am. Uh, the new voice of my character, I think. Okay, you may, you may. <laughs> it gets louder each time. <laughs> no, I didn't think to ask Adil to code that in. Uh, something in my eye. Bummer. I think I'm gonna have to shed a tear for you guys or for my character. I'm not sure. Uh, guys, please try the try the bet again. I'm gonna put no to hundred because everyone seemed to think I could do it. Yes, it's working. Go, go nuts. Uh, the septims that you used before were not used, so you should you should still have them. Oh, <laughs> Probably. Yeah, but now now it's just me betting against myself. It's a bit sad. It is really sad. <laughs> Who is on voice? Uh, me? Is it me? Uh, Aura, maybe? I'm not sure. W were you talking? Oh, God. Galatia, welcome back. Okay, now is when it gets really tricky. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh Thief probe spoon. Sure. Okay, I don't hear any trap, but at the same time, I have, I have the key. Why wouldn't you open when I have a key? Thank you, Delezia. I appreciate. And yes, I did clear the cave because I do not have access to any other part of the cave. Victory! My character is super cool. She's, um, she's Indiana Jones' daughter. Uh, probably <laughs> we're, we're not entirely sure on the lore we're just getting started thank you I, i'm quite happy with it too i must say it's nice after two years nearly three to actually have a hair right um why won't you open when i have a key I'm gonna use the console because because it really should open. Unlock. I did check for traps myself, so we should be fine. Okay. 
Now this is the one where it gets really tricky. Now I'm chilling. It all depends on how well I can aim. That's not good. Okay, if I cannot kill it with my bow... Oh, hang on. We can have a little bit of armor. We can have darker pants. Really a, a fit cut. We can have a, a dirtier shirt as well. Go with that. Can I have a drink before I go to give me coach? No, maybe not. If my arrows are not working, I will need to... I don't know. I will need to dodge the spells. And that's never easy. But let's see. Clearly I didn't hit... And I know you did tell me once upon a time. You're not even trying. You won't escape me that easily. Die, scoundrel. Dash the spell, no. Change weapon, oh crap. I forgot. Do I have anything to heal You're myself? I do not. Outlander. At least, at least he died before me because I was not able to dodge the spell. Darker trousers in darker room. Yes, that will help. Um, yeah. So we'll have to load again. It's because I couldn't dodge that spell. If I had been able to dodge it, I would have been able to kill him. Everyone wins. Uh, no, I was not able to clear the dungeon without dying. That's a no. So I win. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, say it. You can say it's rigged. And I only I only bet against myself because you were all saying yes. Uh definitely Denina, always. I'm gonna sip in my coffee while you're you're typing your suggestion. And again, oh whoa whoa whoa, hey, hey easy. Oh, I see. I'm uh, I'm already quite exhausted. And Paxon is not going to fight for me. Somebody wrote a, a line of code that broke Paxon and now he doesn't kill for me. Any idea who would do something so horrible? I'm not sure he saw me because he would be coming there. Once you have aggro from that spellcaster, Run back to the other room and then tuck yourself behind the door jam, forcing the mage to come. Yeah, uh, I've tried that. It, it's not always worked, but that's a good strategy. Normally, there's enough room to like dodge the spell, but I guess I'm a little too slow for it. I'll try that because he he hasn't he hasn't followed me. I tried hiding behind this, but. You mean, you mean here? I think he'll be running to me and there. Sorry, they are left of the door. Okay. I'll try to shoot a couple of arrows because if I could get a sneak attack, sniper attack, that would be nice. Now in the other way, go back on the left of the door. On the other side. But I want to try and snipe him once or twice first. I think I need higher. I've trifled with you long enough. I'm thirsty. Should I You've worry? You've lost also, this round. Back on. Move back on. She likes to. I have you. She likes to scream quite a bit. I've trifled with you long enough. I'm guessing he must be stuck behind the stairs or something. Let's take a sneak peek. Oh, he's right there. Are you stuck, buddy?
This is pointless. Give Whoa, in. No, back some. No one can match me. Okay. Hi. Let's try again. Ha ha. He's trying to walk to me rather than cast a spell. And my fatigue is drawn when and I that when I hold a, a crap, die, I'm stuck. scoundrel. Yeah, okay. You won't escape me that easily. Back some. Tell me if it's shooting. Me that easily. There it is. You've lost this round. Try again. Take that. You're mine, Outlander. Ha ha. Funnily enough, I'm more Outlander I than he you. is. Come on, cast a spell, buddy. This is pointless. Give in. Too many taunts for my character, right? I'm gonna move out so that Baxon follows me a bit. Good boy. Good boy, Baxon. Stay there, okay? I guess I'm not the only one having trouble with the, the bound box of my character. Yeah. Oh crap! No! Are you kidding me, you. bastard? Like he he materialized right in front Give of me. In. Um, I I have no way. Oh, I've crap. trifled with you now long stuck. enough. I have zero this way. Oh, pointless. Good, good, good. Give in! Shut up! Ha! Stop! Stop taunting! You're dying. She's worse than the NPCs. You know the NPCs that keep taunting you and they say, "Die, you fool!" And that's the last words. And now I'm even worse than them. I'll probably I have you. No, you don't have him. You're not even trying. No, I'm zigzagging, ha! trying to not get hit by another spell because I survived You're that one. You're mine, Outlander. Shut up. I'm definitely ah! gonna have to shut up. I'm gonna have to go in the menu I have you. and shut myself up. I think it might You've be lost from the sound round. over home. The character no sound over home. No one can match me. The guards are not gonna help me because they haven't seen me being hit or attacked. I've trifled with you long enough. Exactly. Uh, yeah, ah! because I heard. Yeah, see the spell? You're mine, Outlander. Die, scoundrel. There's some spell casting going on over there. Ah! And that! I... You're not even trying. Aren't I? Attack! I've trifled with you long exactly. enough. Exactly. Die, scoundrel. It is, but Die, I don't want to go scoundrel. in the setting. In the settings, like there he is running. I don't want to go in the settings while in combat. Easily. Because I'm worried like that, that I might break it. We're cool now. I think. Um, not config. I think this might be from, uh, what is it called? Character Sound of Elm? Combat setting, enable weapon, no, oh, NPC weapon volume, no, that's not, that's not what it is. Not movement, not item, miscellaneous, journal sound, body corpse, vanilla, thumps, they're off. Okay, so if not that, then it is from, uh, Aura. PC. Low health sound, yes, low fatigue, this is combat taunts. No! <laughs> Let's just say it right now. No combat taunts. Oh, at the same time, I had like 100%. So that would explain it. So that was the one. And the volume was 200%, just to make sure. Okay, let's catch our breath there. Yeah, that was really annoying. Celus Gravius is checking me out. Ah! What? I have you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have you. Die. No, 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 no. Pointless. Change Give weapon. In. Change weapon. No, change Attack. weapon. Okay. 
Oh, back's on. No. You're not even trying. Try again. Attack. Attack. You're not even okay. trying. This is for facts on you pointless. bastard. Give in. You've lost this round. My crime? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I... He attacked me. This is because they didn't see him attack me first. Faxon took all the damage. That, mm. Sure. Sure, I'll go to jail. But that's... Oh, no. The the thing is, this is this is how vanilla behave. Like the gods determine who attacks who. Oh, that's okay. They just put me there. It's fine. I still have the loot because I didn't steal anything. At least, rats don't have rights. Poor Paxon, where is he? There you are. You're okay, buddy. I defended you, and I don't regret it. Uh, Billy, lovely to see you. You're behind on mods? <laughs> what about me? It's been a month that I haven't looked at the Nexus. I just spent like an hour going through the notifications and the messages that I had, but now I'm up to date. Uh, you had so many questions, so go ahead. The rat is Paxon, and Paxon is the best beast companion mod you can get that does not require Lua. Uh, it's a mod by Tizar. And if you like it, there's Paxon, Tetra the Guar, and uh, Kolka the Wolf. I recommend them both. And then that is a companion MWSC health bar or something. Oh yes, the NPC followed me through the door. That is a Dragon Door by Axe Magister, where NPCs can follow me through doors. <laughs> so running away just doesn't work. Yeah, I saw, I saw that, uh, but I don't know. I mean, right now, like I said, for this install, it's all vanilla caves. I want to keep the vanilla caves. 35. This is in better condition. Let's keep it. And chitin blade or chitin blade is a bit better. Let's keep it. So I don't want to mod my dungeons. I'll give it a try. Uh, at least have a look in the construction set and um, and see if I like it. Ariel, you won't believe what happened to me. I was defending Paxon here, and and the guard thought that I was attacking, and they threw me in jail. To which Ariel says, "That's horrible. The guards in Sadenine. I've heard stories from Fargarth. Here." Have some Tamriel beer on the house. Thank you, Ariel. <laughs> it's their hair. It's the, the hair that does that. Well, he's very, very elegant. I offer the best values in town. So I don't want this. I don't want these. Uh, let's keep the robe because when it gets cold, we need we need to find a way to keep ourselves warm. Uh, thank you for the beer, Ariel. I don't drink alcohol, though. But thanks. Yes, I've just made an extra septim. Yeah, he offers the only value in town. But honestly, he's not bad. Um, he doesn't have insanely high, high uh, mercantile. What is this? Adventurous back leather? No. There's something I'm not good enough to wear chitin. I don't know that I want to use wands. It's true that I'm an artificer, so magic wands would work, but I feel it's um meh. Meh. A backpack though. Always good. My goods are the finest in town. Okay. 
starting to look like an adventurer with high heels, obviously. Just, just go along with it. I definitely need post potion. I might be able to make them. Uh, soul tries, marshmallow. That's that's their cheapest and uh, easiest restore health ingredients, right? I think it's uh, it's a playthrough. It's a uh, it's actually a whole uh, challenge. And if you want all the details, it's here. But very briefly, we take inspiration from Indiana Jones. We are an archaeologist. We know artifacts very well, but we don't know magic ourselves. And um, and we want to find artifacts. And learn everything we can about the Dwemer and collect all kinds of unique items, essentially. Better for avoiding traps. Well, I mean, less surface with the ground, so less likely to trigger the traps, right? Filthy Mac Nasty, thank you so much for the follow. Well, come on in. All right, let's go because we still have a cave to clear. And now that we've killed really the most uh, dangerous NPC from that... What are you doing in the water? Didn't know that. Uh, slots should work. Yeah. Oh, it didn't work for you. Oh, it's because you don't have uh, you don't have septims. But hang on. Here comes the money. Okay, try again. You should have some enough to bet. That's it. Even that little bit does what? Um, Die! Who? What? I might need to restart the game to get rid of the taunt altogether. Your actions are illogical. All possible results for this encounter have been calculated. Oh, that was good with the mist and everything. Nice. So finally, we got to hear your greeting, Leo. Okay, so. One NPC dead. Oh, how is my acrobatics? Uh, I'm tired and thirsty. We'll, we'll deal with that soon. Acrobatics, 20. It's not bad, so I should be able... Ooh, I should be able to climb. Maybe not to this. Whoa! Look at me climb! Okay, and now I'm also quite exhausted, so we're gonna we're gonna take it easy for a little bit. And that's good. Alright, let's rest. I, I need to at least get my stamina back. It won't be fully bad because I'm tired. Oh, I'm an idiot! I could have summoned my Black Panther. Even to kill the other guy. Didn't think of that. I'm not sure how it works. If it's um, scripted to allow me to use it once a day. Not sure. We'll, um, we'll try. But I think I should be able to handle that NPC. With my dagger. Might even be able to sneak up to her. She's not looking. Going behind the pillar. Clearly she cannot see me right now. Ow! Oh shit, there's something behind. There, there's a, a beetle? Ow! Stop, stop shouting. I, ah! I'm sneaking. Ah! And she has an enchanted blade. Bummer. Die! And what's that thing behind it? Oh, to save, yes. Yes, um, she's got an enchanted blade. So, sniping time. Um, Oblivion, I think if you go, it looks like it, yes, but why would it be in a cave? I've added, um, that's the one I have never used, it's called Morrowind Edition. And it essentially takes some, it's a rather old mod that use some rather old creature models. This is point. No, 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 easy. I'm talking. Um, that takes some old creature models 
and then adds them to the game. And all I wanted from it was the snakes. And I have the snakes, that's good. There's uh, wasps. They are dragons and I left them in. I'll probably regret it. We'll see. Um, I've removed all the, the baby nix hound and that sort of things because uh, creatures or an, even random pals um, edit of creatures edit and addition to creatures also has the, the baby uh, guars maybe not the baby nix hound so I removed the resized vanilla creatures because they're not very interesting um, and I've kept I removed the elephants <laughs> because because no, I removed the sharks because there are some in uh, in Abbott's water life, and I think that the balance is good.